Okay, I'm playing around with cPanel here and getting ready to create a Joomla site. Here's my uh, cPanel um, that I've logged into, my control panel. And the first thing I did was click on um, File Manager. And that opened up um, this window, which is my File Manager. And I'm deciding where I want to upload um, my Joomla installation. I've put it so far into, I made a folder called test site and inside the folder you'll see I've got the full package here of Joomla 1.5.15 and I wanted to show you I'll make another one so I'll create a new folder and I'll call this one my site that's the type of typical thing for a test site I'd like you guys to actually try to create you know your your own site so that you're happy with it so maybe use your name right so um, use your name or name of your company or whatever. So I've, I've uh, written out here my site, create new folder, right? And so now I have a folder called my site and I need to upload Joomla into this folder or what I can do is I can just take this file here and I could just right click on the icon here and say move, right? And I'm gonna move it into the folder my site and click move files and now it's up now it's in there so I'll go up one level and go to my site double click on that and there it is so now if I want to extract it all I have to do is select it I can right click on it or I can just click this button here extract and that will extract the folder and it automatically picks the folder that you're in and say extract files all of the files are extracted. You can scroll to the bottom and see that you're all done and hit close, right? And now, if I was to go to my site, let's say Dan's course, dan.danscourses.net forward slash my site, and hit enter you actually get this installation script for Joomla. Joomla is ready to be installed. It wants to install. The problem is I don't have a database built yet for Joomla to connect to. So I need a database before we can go through this installation script in Joomla. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to cPanel. I'm going to scroll down to the database section. There's the databases section. And I'm just going to use this MySQL database wizard to start with and then I'll show you some of the other tools too in later tutorials so I'm just going to use this database wizard and I'm going to put in a name for my database I'll call it my site capital DB for database and notice there's a prefix here the prefix is based off of my username my username is Dan Dan and then there's an underscore here and then my site capital DB so the, my database name is not just my site capital DB but the full thing Dan Dan underscore my site DB and that's really important when you have a web host is that usually they're going to add on a prefix based on your username so I'll hit next step and um, now it says hey create a database users so I need a user for it so I'll say um, uh, let's see here I'll say admin it's got, it's got to be seven characters max so seven um, characters max so I could say admin and then I could say um, MS or admin 01 okay admin 01 and then I type in a password here now I recommend that when you put in your passwords okay I'll put in a, a password here. Um, I recommend that you use um, uh, letters and numbers for your password. Letters and number for your password. Not just, not just numbers, not just letters, but letters and numbers and maybe even some capitals. But you want strong password for your database. Okay. So let me think up a password here. Or if I wanted to, I could use the password um, generator. If I click on this password generator, it comes up with a pretty strong password. And what I recommend you do is 
copy it if you decide to use that, right? And then save it to uh, Notepad or something. So I'll open up Notepad, right? Open up Notepad and save the password in, in Notepad, right? There's the password. Save it, file, save as. I'll save it to um, um, my documents folder, call it pass, right, save, and yeah, I've got it copied here. I'll close that window, and I'll check I have copied this password in a safe place. Click use password, the password automatically fills in here, and then hit create user, okay? Now the next thing you want to do is you want to say, okay, I need all privileges for this user. And you're good. You're all done. Okay. Dan Dan underscore admin zero one was added to the database. Dan Dan underscore my site um, capital DB. So notice my username has the prefix in front of it too. And so does the database, right? And so now it's time to go back to that Joomla installation script. So I go to my Joomla installation script and I click next, right? Um, now it checks to see if my settings are okay. Um, I've got everything okay except for um, register globals is on and it probably needs to be, it's recommended to be off and display errors is on and that rec is recommended to be off and we could, you could talk to your, um, you can set that up. Uh, you can set that up later. Um, okay, you could change these later. If you really needed it changed, you could talk to your web host, or and get it changed. That's no problem. Um, okay, I'm going to click next, and this is the most. In, uh, well, no, that's not the most important part. This is the license. Yeah, you could say that's important. Read this. I want you to read every word, and click next. And now you're going to um, fill in the crucial information. This is the important part. Uh, database type is MySQL. Host name is going to be localhost, right? Username, Dan, Dan, underscore, admin, zero, one. Okay. Um, the password, right? Got to paste that in there. Right, and then the database name, which would be Dan, Dan, underscore, and I think it was my site capital D B, right, and I will hit next, and it worked. Okay, FTP configuration. I'll just leave it as no for right now. I can always change that later. Hit next. Site name. I put my site name in here, my site, uh, my email, you know, I want to get a confirmation email, let's say, uh, so you put my email in here, and this is where I need to create an admin password for Joomla. This is for the back end of Joomla. So um, you'll put in your admin password for Joomla here. So I'll type in a password here for Joomla. And do I want to install sample data or no? Okay, I'm not going to install sample data. Um, I'll just hit, well, if I want to install sample data, I can, I'll just do it anyway. We'll see, we'll do it. I'm not going to keep this site anyway. I'll make another one. So then I'll hit next. And the site has been installed. Okay, so I've got success. All I have to do now is go into cPanel, into my file manager, and delete the installation folder. So in the install folder, I will right click on it and delete. And everything's gone, right? And I can go back to my front end and visit my site or the back end. If I visit the site, there's my site and you can see it's live.